Tonight, we have team coverage of a fatal shooting at a house party over the weekend. A 17-year-old was killed. Ten other people were hurt. Reporter Meg Rossler has reaction from community members. And evening anchor Amara Abbas will have more with a parent whose child was at the party. But new today, we learned that teenager killed in the shooting was a Northside High School student. 17-year-old Willie Ivy III was in his junior year. He played on the school's football team. There he is, number 99. A neighbor described the party as casual, but it turned into something else. 21 Alive evening anchor Amara Abbas takes us through what police say happened that night. Linda and Heather, that neighbor we spoke with said people were running through his backyard trying to get away from the chaos unfolding at the party. Police tell us those injured are in non-life threatening condition. Their names and ages have not been released. Since this was a high school party, we expect some of the victims to be minors. We spoke to the mother of a teen who was at the party. She told us the only thing running through her mind was panic. Panic kind of sets in at first because you don't know what's going on. You're not there um, and trying to get information secondhand, especially from emotional teenagers is hard. So, you know, panic sets in and then worry. And then you try to figure out, you know, how you can help, how you're going to get there. What's going on? Is my child involved? Is she OK? You know, are the kids OK who was hurt? And it's just a million questions, you know, that go through your head during times like this. Just a terrifying situation. Now, if your child was also present or is now grieving the loss of a friend, FWCS encourages having conversations about the feelings your child may be experiencing. And as for suspects in the shooting, police have not released any information and no arrests have yet been made. In studio, Amara Abbas, 21 Alive News. Amr, thank you. Tears shed, hugs shared outside Northside High School early this morning. A group of adults gathered to show their support for students. 21 Alive reporter Meg Rossler has reaction from people who were there. This has to change. Those were the words that came from so many who joined near Northside today. They want students to know there's people out there who care. Honestly, I'm tired of watching this. I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm and it's not just Roderick Parker who feels that way. He and other community members came together Monday morning to show support for students at Northside High School. We connected with each other standing out here because we care and it matter. When Parker learned who the victim was, he was shocked. Literally watched this kid and his father and his family and his siblings at senior night two weeks ago. Ivy was a junior on Northside's football team, number 99. I, I literally just walked up to him in the fence and, and told him congratulations and told his dad congratulations and how proud I was of him. It's personal. It's personal not, and not just for him, but for all these kids. Anytime that we lose a student, it is tragic. Krista Stockman with Fort Wayne Community Schools says they're offering extra resources for students. We are here uh, and whatever support, whatever help they need, we, we are here for them. And says the school welcomes those who gathered for their students. And it doesn't just affect Northside, this affects the entire community. And so to have people come out and want to show their support to our students, we really appreciate that. Just try to make our presence felt. Let these young people know that we're here for them, we're here with them, that we understand them and that we love them. And those advocates say now more than ever, the community needs to come together to let students like these know they're not alone. In studio, Meg Rossler, 21 Alive News.